Guys, let's make this delicious creamy coconut chicken sauce with some vegetables. Welcome to Oye Indoke's kitchen. We are starting off with our chicken breast. You can see it's completely washed and clean, and we are going to cut into dice sizes, cube sizes. Let's season our chicken. We are starting off with some garlic. Next will be thyme. And we're going to be adding some rosemary. The next will be some black pepper. I'm a huge fan of black pepper. We are adding some no salt seasoning and we are using dash product. We are now adding some parsley flakes for the flavor. The next will be lemon butter garlic. So we are adding this and guys, every seasoning we are adding today, every spice and herbs are one tablespoon each. And we added some salt for taste and as well, we are using vegetable oil to coat the whole thing together. Feel free to use olive oil or any oil of your choice. Now we are doing what? We are massaging the chicken to make sure that every part of the chicken is completely coated. I'll be adding some crushed red pepper for the kick, you know, to have some kick to it. Mm -hmm. So guys, let me know where you're watching me from. Thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share and leave us your comments. So after that, we are going to allow this to marinate for 30 minutes. Just set it aside at a cool place. Into our pot, we are starting off with unsalted butter and we are using one stick of unsalted butter to cook our chicken. This is going to make the chicken to be moist. It's not going to be dry. You know, chicken breast is that part of the chicken that has less fat. So we are using some butter to moisten the chicken and make it very delicious and very flavorful. The next, we'll be adding some onions. So we're adding onions at this time. The onions is going to release its own sweetness into the chicken. We are now mixing to combine. We are now adding some garlic, fresh garlic into the pan. Guys, I'm a huge fan of garlic. So if you're not a fan of garlic, you can skip this, but I love the flavor garlic adds to chicken. Look at how the chicken is looking. It has produced its own a juice. And I tell you, it's very moist, it's very tasty. The next, we'll be adding our mushroom. I'm a big fan of mushroom. If you don't like mushroom, you can skip this part. So we're adding mushroom now. We are now mixing to combine. We are going to allow everything to saute together. After a few minutes, we are now adding our coconut milk. Remember, coconut milk, that's what we have here. And we added a whole can of coconut milk. We are stirring together to combine and i tell you guys try this recipe it's so easy to make from start to finish will be done in 30 minutes let me know where you're watching me from thank you for watching guys at this point my kitchen was smelling amazing the flavor from the coconut milk and all the spices we use i tell you smelled so wonderfully now we are adding mixed bell pepper so we have red and red bell pepper i lost a clip where i added fresh onions i wanted some onions into it some crispy onions and i'm adding now bouillon seasoning for the taste guys you need to try this recipe it's very easy to make and very affordable and i tell you it tastes so delicious fresh the onions were still crispy. The last onions I added was purple onions, so it's very crispy. The vegetable is very crispy as well. More addition, I added parsley leaves, fresh parsley leaves to enhance the flavor. This is absolutely delicious, very easy to make. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to leave us your comment. Thank you.